What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments in the comment section below, and also share the video. I'm sorry. Um, I'm here to tell Mr. Shakur Stevenson that it's too late. The damage is done. So you going back and now and saying that Devin Haney won the fight, or not Devin Haney won the fight, that it, you, you could see it being a draw after you initially got into the ring immediately after the fight and said that Lomachenko got robbed. He got robbed. He won that fight. He won that fight. After you did all of that, the damage is already done, bro. All this trying to come back and clean it up on second thought, and I made a video about your on second thought, but I'm also here to tell you that your da the damage has been done, Shakur. You gave life and fuel to racists who don't like Devin Haney in the first place. And you knew that taking this position would make you likable to that other demographic who don't really like and support you any damn way. Okay? You knew, like, listen, you gave life to, the, to, to you gave life and fuel to racists who do not like Devin Haney, who trash him on a regular basis who do not like the sweet science, who do not like individuals who box to hit and not be hit the same style you box in. You gave life to those individuals to trash Devin Haney and also to eventually trash you someday, right? And I didn't like it at all. To me, when Shakur did this, he looking funny in a light, not just to me, but to a lot of people. Skill for skill, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson is extremely talented. He's phenomenal as a fighter, young fighter, young talent. Special fighter, I like watching them fight because I love to see the art of boxing. I love to see a dude get off combinations and move and stick and move and stick and move, right? I don't have to watch Rock'em Sock'em Robots to be a fan of boxing. I don't have to watch Mexican style. You stand right in front of me and we just keep trading and hitting each other, teeing off on each other. I like the dudes that slick with it. They got slick styles that can counter punch. Guys that can get off their jab and use their distance and range to win a fight and win a round, so on and so forth, Right? Shakur fights with that same type of style, but then he went out here and gave ammo to the individuals who trashed that who, who trashed that style that many African American fighters fight in. A lot of black fighters fight with that style, and he went in there and basically was trying to trash Devin Haney. Oh, Lomachenko won that fight. He got robbed. He got robbed. all of that, man. It's gonna make you look funny, style, man. Like. To me, again, I'm going to always watch because I'm a fan of your fighting style and ability. But to a lot of black American fans, you took the bait a little too easy. You went for the butter biscuits a little bit too easy, Shakur. And it looked real sucker-like. It looked like, it was sucker-like. I'm not going to, it was sucker-like. And I like Shakur, but it was a sucker move. Getting in that ring amongst all them people who were highly emotional because they love Lomachenko so much. They love him so much. They were praising and screaming and roaring his name all through the fight. They, were, they hate Devin so much. They was booing Devin as he was walking to the ring. And I know the push may have added fuel to the fire. But Devin was going to be booed regardless. Because they love Lomachenko so much. So you went and you played to that crowd. You played to that crowd and trashed Devin and act like the fight wasn't even close. He got robbed. When you say somebody got robbed, that's an indication that the fight wasn't even close. And you know it's dis that's disingenuous. Because you have a keen eye for boxing. And you got a keen eye for what's going on in that ring. So what you saying that you gave credence to these individuals to go and trash Devin Haney. Devin, Devin Haney put up a post on Instagram holding the belts. All of them berating him in the comment section. You trash. Get a belts back. Admit that you lost. Even Shakur Stevenson said you lost. Even Shakur said you lost. Bro, like, come on, man. You thought that was going to make you a fan favorite over Devin? That's what you did it because you thought. That's what you thought. It was going to make you a fan favorite over Devin. And it probably will make you a fan favorite over Devin, Right? And you knew you knew doing that would, but at some point, Shakur, you're gonna get into the ring with an elite individual who's not of your same ethnicity, whether you want to identify as black or Puerto Rican, whatever. You're gonna get in the ring with somebody who's not of your ethnicity, maybe somebody that's full-blooded Puerto Rican, maybe somebody who is, you know, from Europe, from Asia somewhere, right? And you get in there with an elite guy, and if you if the fight is close. They're going to go and trash, and, and, you, and you're awarded the decision. They're going to trash you and say, uh-uh, uh-uh, that was a robbery. That's a robbery. Why? Because Shakur does not knock out people. He's not, he's not a knockout artist. He hits in that, he fights in that hit and not be hit type of style that a lot of these non-black fans trash 
and clown on a regular basis. They clown the great Floyd Mayweather Jr. and called him a runner for being the slick, counterpunching individual that he is and a guy who was a, a savant within a sweet science. You know, so when you go out here and you get in there and you feed into their whole little um, Lomachenko got robbed train, when you feed on their emotions and, oh, he got robbed, Lomachenko got robbed, he won that fight, he won that fight, all of that shit, now it leaves room, it creates the same type of um machine that will later come back and trash you when you fight and you have a close fight and you, and you use the sweet science to win rounds rather than standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You know, um, I don't know, man. Like, I just didn't like it at all. And this is the thing, man. What he doesn't understand, like I said, is the same fans praising him now Praising him and, oh, we love you, Shakur. We love you. Were well, the same ones calling him boring, pillow-fisted, garbage, unwatchable, calling him a pure snooze fest. Now they, Shakur, Shakur, Shakur gonna fuck you up, Devin. Shakur gonna fuck you up. We love Shakur, Shakur, Shakur. They got the, they got their pom-poms out. All for Shakur now. When they was trashing you anytime before that. Even in an Oscar Valdez fight, they called it a snooze fest and called it trash. Okay, even though Shakur was getting busy on Oscar Valdez, it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, display of um, in-ring generalship. But, you know, they called you boring. Now, now they love you because you, you've shown to be an adversary. You went against Devin Haney publicly in a public light in order to gain favor with other, uh, other, uh, with fans of other ethnicities. Same way Jermail Charlo went out of his way when uh, Deontay Wilder was on, they were, was on live um, talking to, was it Marcos Villages? No, it wasn't Marcos. What's the other guy's name? It wasn't Marcos Villages. I forgot the other guy's name, man. He looks Asian. I don't know. Is that, I don't know what is his name. No, he, no, he probably, no, is he Hispanic? What's the dude that worked with BBC name, man? I don't know. I don't know. I forgot his name. Anyway, Deontay Wilder was doing an interview and here comes Jermail Charlo. Oh, it ain't no nothing, ain't nothing to do with race. Skills pay the bills. It's all about the skills. You bring up race too much. It's all about the skills. And Jermel did that in that in that forum where everybody could see and all these other non-black people were around so he can get kudos as, hey, man, hey, I'm the guy that doesn't make fighting about race. I'm the guy that doesn't talk about race. You should like me, root for me, cheer for me, guys. You all should like me. You all should be a fan of mine. You all should really, really, you all should come on my side because I'm not one of those black fighters who talk about race. I'm not like a Deontay Wilder. I'm not of his ilk. I'm not one of those guys. He was looking for that type of adulation. Shakur stepped out on that limb and was looking for the adulation, that same adulation, from the from that from the from the um from that pro Lomachenko crowd. I'm not one of these guys who only pick the black guy to win. Even though a lot of black dudes don't pick the black guy, they just feel like the black fighters in certain situations are the better fighters, right? But you know, a lot of the non-black fans say all black people pick the black guys when they get ready to fight. And even if that was the case, so all Hispanics pick the Hispanic dude to win for the most part. So what is we getting at? But it's back to the topic at hand. Shakur Stevenson knew that playing into that, playing into that pro Lomachenko crowd, and Lomachenko won that fight. He got robbed. All of that, it was going to make them love Shakur and shower him with praise and call him the greatest thing, the greatest gift from God's heaven, and put him in the same company as Tank, even though they don't even like watching Shakur fight. They like watching Tank fight because Tank going to deliver knockouts, and Shakur does not. I guarantee you when Shakur fights Tank, they're going to trash uh, Shakur. Shakur fight one of these other dudes. If Shakur were to get in there with Lomachenko, they would trash uh, Shakur in favor of Lomachenko. They would call Shakur, tell him he ain't shit. He's a boring fighter. He this and he ain't that and he ain't this and he ain't that. He ain't that. But Shakur don't get it, man. He don't get it. He went out there and, and stepped out there and made that statement about Devin Haney. Feeding the machine that could come back and later trash him later that could come back and trash him later when he has a close fight and wins by decision. Okay, like, I don't know, man. Um, it, Again, if Shakur gets a decision in a tough close fight, those same fans rallying behind him now will trash him for the fighter of the other ethnicity because they don't fuck with that slick box, that sick 
uh, the slick boxing style that a lot of black fighters exhibit in the first place. They call it boring. They call it running. They call it being on your bicycle. They call it chicken fighting rather than pure elite skill and class. So, you know, uh, Shakur, you the, 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 the damage is done. You've already fed the machine to, to trash Devin Haney and take him through the ringer. And yeah, you can argue they were going to do that anyway. But having a black guy, I don't know. Y'all can try to say Puerto Rican all you want to do. Black, Puerto Rican, whatever, right? He half black, half Puerto Rican, okay? Um... But he looked just like a black dude. But anyway, there's a whole, whole nother story, y'all. There's a lot of black Puerto Ricans, too. So, but there's a whole, whole nother story. It's a lot of black, black, black Puerto Ricans. But anyway, Shakur looked like a light-skinned black man from Newark. I mean, from, yeah, from, uh, what you got, from New Jersey. Yeah, so, um, but anyway, he fed that machine. And I was going to come back to kick him in the butt. It, 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 it very well could. It very well could, man, because... I don't know. It just it looks it looks funny style. It looks sucker like, man. It looks sucker like. And a lot of the black American fans are gonna be looking at Shakur funny, like, man, I don't want to kick it with you, skate with you, none of that. Cause how you came across in that post fight interview, how you the damage is done. They already feel like oh they feel like oh the black guy, oh the black fighter Shakur, he even feels like how we feel. And all the other dudes, Tim Bradley and all them, and Nelly and all them feeding into that Loma Chingo got robbed, he got robbed, all of that. Feeding into that bullshit, now you're going to have a lot of black fighters when they have close fights and they display the sweet science, you know, and the dude can tee off on them for one or two rounds and, 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 and a, in a big way. And, oh, it's a robbery. You know what I'm saying? People go to CompuBox, oh, he landed more punches. As my uncle said in the video, a guy could have you hurting around and can start teeing off on you and can edge you out in the, point, in the punch totals. And how much in the punches landed total because he was teeing off on you around 10 and 11, but you was outboxing them all the other rounds. Boxing is judged on a 12 round scale, not just two rounds. But Shakur ain't no coming back for that. The damage is done. Look yourself in the mirror and shake your head.